CKDU FM 88.1. This is Hans Ince. You're listening to The Hans Show. Right now, we're listening to music from Avina. Instagram at Live with Avina. Check him out. His music's great. You might see him at uh, some festivals coming up. We uh, invited you to call in tonight. This is still a call in show, something we like to do from time to time. The phone lines are open 902 494 2487 if you want to tell a story or talk about the music scene, the festival scene, or just general things, Halifax and music and artists. And we have somebody on the, the line right now we're going to go to right now. We have on the line with us Wild Oscar with an H. Hello, welcome to the Han Show. Yo, what's up? There you go. <laughs> How you doing, man? <laughs> Not too bad. Just, uh, so you're uh, you're our first calling for the night. Thanks for for listening to the show and being a fan. Uh, you were telling us that uh, you're a nominee for the coast best of Halifax. Yeah, I got nominated for uh, best hip hop artist in Halifax. Congratulations. That's yeah, a wild Oscar with an H. Wild so one of- Oscar with an H. I think I have a broom named after you. A broom? <laughs> an Os- Oscar broom with an H spelled Oscar. O S C H. O S C A H. Forget it. That joke that joke fell flat. Like Let's just forget it. All right. Sleeping stuff? <laughs> What's that? I'm like sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> a broom. Oh, for like, exactly like sleeping. Yeah. Exactly right. A broom for sleeping. So, uh, how long have you been doing hip hop? Did you um, were you surprised to get the nomination this year for the best of Halifax? Yeah, I was really surprised. Uh, legitimately, I've been doing like selling music for the past like four months, but I was an underground rapper for about ten years or so, on and off. Okay, and you have you always been in the Halifax scene, or were you part of any other scenes in the Maritimes or anything like that? No, mostly just like Dartmouth area. Okay, I grew up on dark the side. Right on. Re- represent. Got to represent Dartmouth. I didn't mean to cut you off there, but I'm from Dartmouth. I love Dartmouth. I grew up in Dartmouth. Shout out to like, Dartmouth. I grew up on the Eastern Shore, so that's where I originally came from. Okay. But, you know, we all migrate to the city, and Dartmouth is where we go. <laughs> it's, it's funny to hear someone talk about going to the city, and they choose Dartmouth. It's like, hey, we're yeah. going to the city tonight. We're going to Dartmouth. It's like, are you sure? Dartmouth? That's where you We're going to Penny on the Park. <laughs> now called Parkside Pub. I don't know what the, what the good haunts are. St. Louis is not bad in Dartmouth. Where do people go in Dartmouth now? You know, when you're going out to a, maybe uh, Whiskey's? Stagger's Lounge? What are some yeah. what, are some, what are some Dartmouth haunts? <laughs> Dooley's? Can't go wrong with it. doesn't matter what town you're in in, in this country. If you can Do find Littles. Do- <laughs> Do- <laughs> Shout out Doolittles. Good place to lose your money in the machines. It's true. <laughs> worst mach- some of the worst machines in the city. Uh, they don't pay. They never pay. But uh, actually, good food. Good food. Sometimes uh, I go there to check out some bands. Uh, Electric Funeral has played there. Uh, Novichok has played there. If you're into the metal scene, two bands both nice. feature the incredible Jeff McDonald. Worth mentioning. So let's get back to your nomination. So, do you know the other people in your category? For uh, first of all, the category is best hip hop artist. Is that where we're at? Yeah. I don't know them all offhand, but there's... Look it up. Uh, Let's look it up. Let's find out. There's Jon Snow, Quake Matthews, Classified. Mm-hmm. I think there's a guy named King Woos. I'm not sure if that's King Woos, name. have you heard any of his music? He's very good. Is he? Yeah. Oh, good. gosh. Yes, 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 yes. You got to check them out. Uh, if you haven't heard anything by King Woos, uh, he's, he's, he's great. There's so, there's so much talent in... Uh, Halifax, around Halifax in Nova Scotia. There's, I was having this conversation online recently. Um, people were, we were having a discussion about why people, we were speculating why people get picked for the Nova Scotia Music Awards or for other, you know, awards, um, notable stuff. Like why, why are they getting picked over other groups? And the truth is, and I'll go on record saying this on radio, is that you can't really speculate what the juries are thinking, uh, the people who picked and make those very hard decisions. You can't, you can't guess what the motives are or what the reasoning was, but I think that they have a very tough job. They have a tough job because there's such a talent pool in the city. It, how do you select only a hundred people to showcase? How do you select only a handful of, you know, since COVID has ended, look how much people have come out, you know, from their from their homes, from their, their home studios, their bedroom studios, with this great music, with this great talent, putting on shows, producing their own shows, getting their friends up on stage. Do you know what I mean? Have you, have you taken part in any hip hop shows? Uh, in the past, when I used to do underground rap, but uh, I haven't been on the stage recently. I'm waiting to kind of like 
moved down into the studio uh-huh. that I have. We got people living in it right now, so I'm just waiting to get back down there so I can actually practice and shit. Right? I don't want to go up on when stage you, too. When you say back down there, you're talking about back down to the Halifax area. Get that back down here. Back you, down to the basement. Oh, to the basement. To the basement. That's where your studio is down in the basement. Down in the basement. Okay. Two. So is it just? Yeah. Is it, you mind if I ask? Is it just like a motivation thing, or it's not hooked up, or it's not working? Well, no, it's it's currently people living in there. Like we we took in some family and whatnot, so oh. there's some people. Good for you. Were, were they displaced due to the the flooding and the the disasters that have been happening? No, just uh, just whatever. Like I don't want to get into. Oh, you, and you shouldn't have to. And I apologize for asking, but good for you for helping our family. So it's it's one of the these are very common situation where you, you kind of don't have the space and it, it kind of rips away your motivation. I know I have a home studio too that's currently filled with things from my basement that got flooded. So I, I walk past it when I come home, but I can't really go in, turn things on, and start getting creative because it's just a bunch of junk. And the way oh, you got flooded, you know. So I have this list here. Um, in your categories, I'll read them off. We have Wave Lord, Quake Matthews, shout out to Quake, Ate and Jax, Classified, King Woos, Jon Snow, and Wild Oscar with an H. I like that. I can't believe I'm on there. <laughs> yeah, well, you have some fans who must have nominated you. They must have felt because the nominations come first. You know, you can vote for who you want to have nominated, and then they tally those up, and it comes out with the official nominations. That's uh. Trust me, that's how, that's how this show got nominated. <laughs> I'll tell you that. We, I, I had a lot of people. Um, I paid money to. No, I just asked a, a lot of people to support about those nominations. We, we we do this show f- not for me. I don't do it for myself. I do it for the music community. I do it for all the artists who may not get a chance or don't necessarily right away have an opportunity to showcase their music. They may be not picked for the shows or they don't know people that haven't networked in the scene but they have good music and they want to get it heard so we give a platform for that that's what the whole show's about that's why we started it so we could just showcase halifax musicians artists and djs give them a voice your name is your name chris no this is hans oh it's hans okay yeah this is the hans show the hans show that's right i i, I voted for you thank you <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate that we uh, the second year getting nominated we didn't win last year we lost to the morning show on uh what was it virgin radio virgin radio morning show beat us out last year but you know if you don't vote for i'm sorry no i don't know no no we didn't no nothing like that (laughs) nothing like that but there's i think i think last year let's look this up actually um we had uh the outer edge was also ckdu show on our programming um calendar was also voted for best radio show and i just wanted something from community radio to win I wanted something, you know, these shows are done by volunteers. The, the major shows, I can only speculate, but I think the major shows are, are paid, the paid positions. We work the, you know, they got advertising sponsors, a lot of clout behind them. But I'm always a champion for the underdog. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I want to see people who volunteer the time, who believe in the community, win and get recognized for that because it's, it's a lot. Uh, I know people who, I know some of the other programmers on the station, they put a lot of their own time, blood, sweat, and tears into making a great radio show. So that's what that's who I want to see win. Let's see who else is up there. Drag the waters is CKDU. I recommend them. Uh, just it's just me and Drag the waters. It's always just the Han show and one other. But there's a so Tur- oh, here I'm gonna read them out for best radio show. Thank you for bringing this up. By the way, this is good. This is a good conversation. Um, when we wake with Andrew Shaver it was on Cove FM. Griff and Caroline in the morning. Jack FM. Turk, Megan, and Amateur Alex, Virgin Radio. They won last year, so they get automatically added to this. Uh, BJ, Bobby, Mac, and Jillian Foote, a Q104. These are the, the majors, right? The, the, the advertising sponsors they got money up for days. Uh, then you have Drag the Waters, CKDU, which is a great show. The Han Show, which you're on. And then Information Morning, CBC, which is also a really good show. CBC has good shows. I got to say, there's, there's a lot of volunteer driven stuff with CBC Radio, particularly Radio 3. But I digress. I wish I could buy more time. And then I'd actually have time to listen to a lot of this stuff. I just oh, you can just do it online on your phone, man. If do you ever listen to uh, Spotify on your phone, uh, I when, I used to, but like when I get ready for my work day, I uh, we get pretty busy at work, and I like to prep myself yeah. and I kind of do a little bit of meditation before going to work. So that's good. Yeah. 
Well, when I when I am jamming out to Spotify, I'm usually jamming out to my my playlist that I listen to every single fucking day. <laughs> well, what I uh, what I listen to uh, when I want to listen to radio or that kind of stuff or support radio on my phone instead of listening to my Spotify playlist, which I do a lot, uh, I'll put on like a, an app I have called Radio.net, and I recommend it to people if they want to listen to this show. Uh, you can listen to any radio show around the world, right across the country, even over in like UK, Japan, you name it. They you can you can tune in to these radio shows, listen to them right on your phone. All you need is your data, data, or what kind of access. But works out really good. And uh, to find Radio.net. Radio.net is a very simple app, you know, and uh, you just type in the search bar, like in within the app, what station you're looking for, or what show, and uh, you'll find it. It's a great way to support your friends because, the, like, well, like I'll all, all that as yeah. soon as I get off the phone with you. <laughs> So um, tonight's th- theme of tonight's show, where we're asking people to call in, um, was about talking about like festival memories, uh, good concert memories. You know, kind of a uh, uh, you know no big whoop, <laughs> like they say in coffee talk. But uh, do you have do you have any uh, great uh, show memories you want to share, or something from a show you did, or the last show a show you went to, anything like that? Something for our listeners. Um. Well, I've seen in like a, a few concerts. I used to work as a bar back in a bar, so I've seen lots of performances. I used to work at Big Leagues at the old location back in the day. Back in Cole Harbor. Back in Cole Harbor. You like mean, they got the new spot now, but. Yeah, but you're talking about the, the original Cole Harbor location in the Sobeys Mall. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. That, you know, I went to Cole Harbor High. Uh, it takes me way back. I used to go to Big Leagues underage a long time ago. Yeah, like in the was, '80s, no, <laughs> not that far back. But. It was pretty wild working, you know, Thursday night. Of course, it, used it was to be, uh, karaoke with Mike Goff, and then it would switch over to like oh. a club music. Car- wow, wow, club. that takes me back. Karaoke with Mike Goff, yes, that's you where the that's where the fucking burn back then. That's so. where the hockey team used to go practice fighting. Was at big leagues. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of fights. A lot of uh, 18-year-old kids discovering liquor for the first time, if I recall. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I've seen lots of shows, like Matt Minglewood, uh, Jimmy Swift Band was awesome. Like, Jimmy Swift Band is great. Band. Grand Theft yeah. Bus and Jimmy Swift Band, both two wonderful bands. So when when did you start doing Hip Hop? Did you do it back in those days in big leagues when you worked at big leagues? Or was it something, really? you said like, uh, about 10 years you've been doing it? Yeah, well, I had a... I had like I always like was into like writing music, but I never recorded music. Right. But I had kind of a life changing event. I, I I fell six stories. I fell out of a window, and uh, I ended up breaking a lot of stuff. And I ended up moving back home. And I, I met up with an old producer that I used to know back in the day, uh, Risky Biz, and uh, he uh, he started producing some music for me, and. And uh, I, I started releasing songs, but not actually selling them, just like releasing them. And But it was on and off because I always had shit going on in my life. And then, and then I kind of went off on my own and I started recording myself and I put out a couple mixtapes. Yeah. And them guys reunited back with me. They were part of non two non-stop there and... Uh, they got me on stage and they got me some radio time and yeah it was it was all groovy but then i had um some shit turned around in my life and careful language I, oh yeah sorry 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 <laughs> uh, now we now and, we know why they call you uh <laughs> wild oscar yeah and then i end up having a bad episode of psychosis which I experienced for a couple months straight, and I went absolutely nuts. I'm being treated for it now, but oh, it's good. Mental health is a very important I, thing. I was I was kind of off the rocker there for about a year yeah. and a half, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to start my own business. So I started my own record label, and I started doing music again. Do you want to shout out that record label? Yeah, it's uh, it's called Stream Currents Productions. So Say, you scream, find, um, scream currents, stream, or stream stri- like a water like stream or like water stream like stream currents oil. stream current Cur- productions yeah and okay. uh so yeah you can follow us on twitter instagram Excellent. youtube facebook is it just stream, stream current. current productions oh sorry i cut you off you were just telling me what it was 
Go ahead. Oh, it's just at Stream Currents. At Stream Currents. Everyone check it yeah. out on Instagram, on social media, everything on the Twitter, or X as I call it now, Stream Currents. All right, man. So uh, before we uh, get you no, off the phone no, there, no, what's up? Uh, one more thing there. We, we got a, a go promotional for group for Maritime Artists. Let's see. Musicians. It. Yeah. It's also for listeners, too. It's called Meet Maritime Music. It's got a got over a thousand members we just launched it like a month and a half two months ago so yeah. if you're an artist or a musician and you want to promote your stuff look it up meet maritime music we'll add you you can promote your shit is that, is that on facebook maritime music yeah it's a facebook group excellent that's it okay well thanks. good good thanks for calling in the show did you want to uh uh let everybody know where you're going to be performing next or what's the next big move for a wild Oscar. By the way, I, I love that uh, wordplay on the name. Oscar Wilde is somebody I quote a lot. Uh, if you're not familiar who that person is, I know you are, but I'm talking about the listeners if they're not familiar who Oscar Wilde is. You should be. <laughs> it's a very, very funny figure in literature and just in life. So what's mm -hmm. what, what's the next big thing for, uh, for Wild Oscar? Well, I'm working on a song right now. I just released a heavy metal hip hop song, but the next one's okay. going to be like kind of a, a techno song it's got a didgeridoo in it wow we'd like to hear that uh, yeah yeah um uh, as far as performances go like i said i'm just waiting to jump back into my studio and i have to practice and make sure i'm all yeah. good to go on stage um uh, so there's no clear date of that yet but uh i'm gonna keep pushing those singles and okay. well will, will you keep us um updated on on your progress will you, will you talk to us again you know Check in on us in a, in a couple of weeks. Let us know your progress. We'll be happy to promote your music. And when you have something new that's released, uh, we'd love you to send it. Send it to us, and we'll put it on the air. We love promoting yep, sure. uh, people in the community, particularly people like yourself who give back to the community. So, uh, you know, top marks from us here at the Han Show, and I appreciate you calling in, Wild Oscar with an H. And I'm going to vote <laughs> for you. We're going to vote for you. Uh, everyone who's listening, and you're going to vote. If you haven't already picked your favorite hip-hop artist in the coast, best of Halifax for 2023, I recommend... Wild Oscar. And I'm going to leave you with an Oscar Wilde quote. And uh, here's a great one from Oscar Wilde, your namesake. And it says, always forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them so much. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. Nothing annoys your enemies more than forgiving them. It's very true. All right. Thanks for being a part Thanks of the show tonight. Want, Thanks. It's always, it. it's always great to talk to you. You're welcome anytime. Okay. Peace out. <laughs> you too. Have a good one. All right. I <laughs> love that. I love that. See how much fun that was? If you're listening to this show, you want your chance to get on the air and talk about what's going on in your mind in the music community, please do. Please uh, talk to us here at the Haunt Show. Lines are open for the whole show till 11 p.m. tonight, 902-494-2487. We have a special guest in the studio who's just arrived. DJ Notch is going to be here to do uh, his thing, live to air. DJ set from DJ Notch. Uh, we're going to be talking to him on the air very, very quickly. Soon. He's in the studio. He's being brought up by the Minions. The Minions are bringing him upstairs. Uh, <laughs> right now, let's uh, turn the music up for a little bit. This is Jay Bradley with his uh, takeover set from show number 290. Shout out Jay Bradley, one of my favorite, and I mean this, one of my favorite DJs. Great guy. He also tattooed my hand. Love that guy so much. Shout out Jay Bradley. If you're listening, mwah, love you, baby. Let's play these beats. CKDUFM 88.1. This is The Han Show.